Buka Yosaka, one of the exciting players at uh, Arsenal that really plays very well off that right attacking side of the midfield. He was, a, he was at the World Cup. He scored two goals and obviously brought a penalty for England when they're playing France, a game that was really so much painful because the second penalty that was earned because of the foul that Theo Fernandes went ahead to put onto the Chelsea player called Mason Mount, Harry Kane never found the net for that penalty. He hit it over the bar and I don't know whether that ball has even landed ever since it was taken because it was really so, so high as Harry Kane went ahead to do the worst thing in his entire national team career. But Man City is lined up, is lining up some good money to go in and really sign Bukayo Saka to make him a citizen or a light blue player in there for you. And Arsenal are pushing hard to see to it that they give him a new contract. As I told you that they are going to make him the most expensive player at the club of Arsenal. And in their history, he might be the first player to earn close to 300,000 300, pounds a week at the age of 21 in the record books of Arsenal. And let's go in through and break this story down here on Rock and Media Football. Rock and David is my name. I think this is the closure of the day. We've come in late, but obviously you know how we do it. Late night videos always come in through. And you guys love them. You love them and almost... 2,000 or 3,000 people view these videos and thank you very much for really showing these videos the love that is really anticipated and don't forget that Arsenal's played a game of football today. They've been beaten by Juventus by two goals to nil. The match reaction and highlights video is already there. You can go on the video section and really watch it. It's already there and it's doing well because of you guys. And let's get into this story that has been reported by Grammy Bailey of Football 90 or 90 90 minute football. He has told us that Man City's future plans involve trying to sign England's duo Bukayo Saka and Judy Bellingham. 90 Minute understands City have held an interest in Saka for a long time and are taking an active interest in his contract talks with Arsenal. The fact, the, the first question you would ask yourself, is City interested in Bukayo Saka? The answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Is there a team that wouldn't like Bukayo Saka? I don't believe that team is there because Bukayo Saka is really playing very well. At 21 years of age, his stats are really, are really, are really interesting. City might be one of those teams that are really interested in signing a player at the age of Bukayo Saka. Obviously, hitting the Premier League for two consecutive seasons, Bukayo Saka has gone ahead to show to it that he can fire in goals in double figures. He has gone ahead to score very many goals. Even at the World Cup, he has gone ahead to put in that performance of scoring three goals. So, when you look at things that are happening at the World Cup, he scored goals, created assists, brought in penalty kicks for, for England. That is Bukayo Saka for you. At that age of his, he is really doing wonderful things and City would go in and get this player. As Grammy Bailey of 90 Minute has told you that City have held interest in Saka for a very long time. That is true and that is right because Saka signed a new a new contract in 2020 that is going to see him be at Arsenal until 2024. So, if at all Bukayo Saka completes this season, he'll be left with one year on his contract and City have been really tracing or looking for this guy for a very, very long time. Remember, in March this year, a story surpassed that City were willing to pay, sorry, City were willing to go on and spend huge on Bukayo Saka because Riyad Mahrez is really aging and they don't want to give him a new contract because he's 33 years of age now, 32, 33 years of age. So City believe they're having very many players who are really in their 30s. Kevin De Bruyne is in his 30s. Ika Gundogan is in his 30s. And if at all he never scored that brace that saw them beat Aston Villa at the Etihad Stadium to win the Premier League because Aston Villa was two goals ahead of them, then they wouldn't have given him another one-year extension of a contract to stay at City. There is another player in the names of Riyad Mahrez. Uh, which other player is hitting 30 at City? Um, so, looks like they need a reinforcement in their midfield, especially onto that right attacking side of the midfield where 
they have a player to replace for for Riyad Mahrez and that means they're having plans of really getting him out of the club and they're all keeping their tabs on to Bukayo Saka. Obviously, a story came in through in March again that responded to that story that Arsenal is willing to give Bukayo Saka a new contract with a buyout clause. For the very first time, Arsenal is going to be having a contract of its player with a buyout clause. That's it. So, the buyout clause is said to be £150 million. Could City go ahead and really pay that amount of money? I believe, yes. If I told you paid £100 million for Grealish, who was performing at Aston Villa, why not pay £150 million for Bukayo Saka at, who is performing at the top level at Arsenal for the team that is at top of the league? And this is what teams like City do, and this used to be Salex Ferguson's, Salex Ferguson's trick. He goes on and weakens his opponents. You need to go on and weaken your opponent. You get... If Saka stays at Arsenal, you know that Arsenal is going to continue being at the level of competing for the Premier League because I believe this season Saka can average 20 goals a season. And if at all he reaches that level, just know he's going to be at that level for the next six or seven years. And that's why City want to go in and get in this player. They know he's on a very, very high demand. He's one of the best players in the world at his age playing that position. And they believe he can go in and do the needful if at all he links up with the likes of Phil Foden at a club called Man City. Now Judy Bellingham too is in the mix. For Judy Bellingham, it's going to be hard for City to take the player because it looks like Liverpool are already advancing to get this player. And the player also wants to go on and play at Liverpool because he was seen hanging a lot with Liverpool players while England were still in the World Cup. That is Jordan Henderson, whom they call Hendo, and, um, and uh, this other guy, the right back. Trent Alexander-Arnold, meaning that Agent Henderson is doing all the best to it that they really land the deal of Belling. But if at all they got to go in and land these two signings, they might spend three hundred million pounds on two players. And having an English player in your team is an added advantage to go on and have a lot of support from UK and England as far as buying club merchandise is concerned. You might see a club spending like one hundred and fifty million pounds on like Bukayo Saka or Bellingham, and you ask yourself, where is that money going to come from? Right now, I believe Bukayo Saka can make lots of shirt sales at Arsenal. I believe Saka at his level he can make close to a hundred between one hundred thousand or two hundred two hundred thousand shirt sales at that level. Now in the next two three years Saka is going to be one of the most adored players in the world in world football. He's going to be selling and making lots of money from his merchandise. So I believe that that's why City are interested in this player. But Arsenal have not sat there to look on City go ahead and show interest in their player and they are doing nothing. They have something they are planning and cooking for Bokayo Saka. And Grammy Bailey has told us that this is the plan for Arsenal to keep Bokayo Saka and to take him nowhere else. Arsenal are willing to make Saka the highest paid player of the club and are desperate to tie him down at his current deal that runs down in 2024. Saka's representatives are due to sit down with Arsenal for further talks now that he now that his World Cup adventure is over. To me, I believe Saka is at the best project. And if I'm an advisor to Saka, I'll, I'll tell him stay at Arsenal because at Arsenal is the king. Why should I leave a team where I'm the king and go to a team where I'm supposed to go on and really fight to be the king, a team that has already its kings? You can't tell me that at City, Saka will be a king there when there are the likes of Haaland, there is Kevin De Bruyne, there is Rodri, there is Cancelo. City has already created its kings, but in this generation of Mikel Ateta at Arsenal, Saka is the king. And if I'm Saka, I just get hold of that pen and put contract to paper, obviously telling them I'm the king of the generation of Arsenal, obviously the most loved player right now at Arsenal, because he has gone ahead to do wonders at his age. So I believe Saka will stay. He will stay. Him leaving, him leaving and betraying Arsenal and denying to renew his contract at Arsenal, it will be a betrayal to Arsenal. That's it. If Arsenal is willing to make you the highest paid player at the club, why don't you, pay, why don't you put pen to paper? You get? 
the reason he would have given would have been that he wants to go on and win the Premier League. But he is not winning. Sorry, he's not playing at a side that is not competing for the Premier League. Right now, they're on top of the league. And now, what other excuse is he going to give us for not signing this deal for Arsenal? So, let him do the needful, win this trophy for Arsenal, put pen to paper. Obviously, do wonders for a team which goes by the name of Arsenal. He's still young, 21 years of age. Even if he plays more five or six years at Arsenal, he'll be at 25, 26 years of age. He can get his ideal or desired move later, but those five years would have really benefited Arsenal a lot. And he will get in Arsenal money to go on and reinforce their squad. So I believe they are going to go on and really reach to a common ground to give Saka a new contract that Saka is going to go on and accept as a player of Arsenal. Then Graham Bailey has said Arsenal are willing to make not really there is another tweet that i'm really looking for there is another tweet <coughs> yeah there it is that arsenal hope saka will commit to being the face of Mikel Ateta's projects all right moving forward but if he doesn't agree to renew it's it's likely that city will give that City will be given a green light to pursue a move in 2023. I don't see Saka leaving Arsenal. You see, I mean, it's everything going in there for you. I don't see Saka leaving Arsenal. And it's almost... It's almost something that won't happen, but it benefits the side of Saka. And this is where I go in and have a second thought about it, that it might be the agent of Saka trying to show it to show to Arsenal that there are lots of teams that are interested in my player or my client and i can throw him to man city because they're going to get me the money that i want but i believe he will commit he will commit and arsenal is on pressure because they have lots of they have lots of contracts to renew there is that of saliba saliba is left with like two years on his contract and i think it's like one and a half after he completes this season at arsenal he'll be left with one year the same applies to saka there is gabriel martinelli um that of Gabriel Magalhães has been renewed. Which other player at Arsenal whose contract is really hanging? They're having like three, four players whose contracts need to be renewed. I think that of even of Thomas Partey, it's like of four years, four, five years. I think after the end of this season, it's going to be left with like two years. They need to go on and revisit it to see whether they're going to add him a new contract. So I think a lot of pressure is being piled to Arsenal. And I believe... Ateta and Edu are really doing the needful to see that they will renew these contracts of Arsenal because the project is ripe, is ripe, is ripe, is ripe. However much they are performing ahead of schedule, but I believe it's good to see that you keep or tie your players that are really the face of your project for the next years with you as you see Bukayo Saka, Martinelli and very many others because Mikel Ateta's project is still is still on its way it's not yet a finished article and if i thought they win a premier league it won't be it won't be of plan i think ateta thought that he would go on and really compete for the premier league maybe in the season of 2023 2024 and that's my prediction i thought that arsenal would win a premier league in either a season of 2023 2024 all 2024 2025 but in this season that you're going in through they're leading the table they are going to put a situation to compete for the league that's it but obviously, things change abruptly and Arsenal is on top of the league. Though injuries are coming in through affecting them, but I believe they can go on and bypass them. If at all, they make good signings in January. Because even today, Race Nelson has suffered an injury and he is part of that, that injury room of Arsenal that now has a Gabriel Jesus, a Tommy Yasu who is just returning because of the hamstring injury. And uh, who else? There is, there is Emily smith Rowe who is returning to play for Arsenal very soon. So it shows you how good, how bad the situation Arsenal is in. And the physios need to go on and meet with these players to come back as soon as possible. So guys, thank you very much for watching in through. Tell me what to think about Bukayo Saka to Man City future interest. What do you think about it? Because he's left with two years on his contract. And if he runs it down he'll go out and become a free agent. So do you think Bukayo Saka will deny a new contract at Arsenal and go to Man City? Or it's the agent trying to put this story in the news to see to it that Arsenal is pressurized to give them the package that they want 
at the club of Arsenal. All that and more into the comment section below. Good night and may the Almighty Lord protect you abundantly.